Hi everybody, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Alba. I am the product manager of Silestone. Um, I have been working for Cosentino during the last six years and in the product department the last four years. Today, uh, we are going to speak about uh, Silestone which is the new Silestone, which are the new colors and also which is all purpose about sustainability. What, which one has been the Silestone metamorphosis? Uh, as you know, Silestone is more than, has been more than 32 years on the market. So it's a very, it's a young brand, but with some years. So we are changing uh, a little bit the brand and also the product. So which one is the context? Why we are doing this? Because the people on the wall is changing. We are getting new values. We are getting new, new lifestyle. Also because uh, the, the designs and the trends are changing and are changing not only locally, they are changing globally. Um, because the sustainable is something that is coming to be always. It is not a trend. It is something that is coming to stay here forever. And also because we are starting to involve the commercials and the home spaces together. So we need to, to make a change and to make a metamorphosis on the brand uh, to, to get in mind all those aspects. Because of that, we are launching a new technology that we call Hybrid or Hybrid Plus, and we are changing uh, the material, but not only outside, we are changing the material inside too. So we have got the ultimate mineral hybrid surface, and this is hybrid plus. Which is hybrid plus? Hybrid is a, is a technology that, they, that make a more sustainable product for the environment and that is making a more sustainable product for the industry as well. So we are not focusing only uh, on the environmental point of view, we are focusing too on the social and, and everything. And what are the pillars of the repositioning? Um, we are getting to, we are giving to the product and to the brand new values. We are getting a new identity. We are changing inside and outside, uh, as we have told you. We have new brand territories. As we are changing, we have the possibility to get more uh, territories in and we are getting a new product approach. Uh, this is what I have told you with the hybrid technology that we are, um, we are changing the product, the, the full product. So how, if we need to present you the new, how is the new Silestone? Is modern, is actual, is uh, orientated to the, to the, young and vibrant people is more sustainable for sure, must to be more sustainable every day and every year. Is people centric, so the full brand, the designs, all, all the, the aspect that we consider when we, when we are doing new products is orientated to the people, always keeping the people in mind. Is design oriented, for sure, Silestone has been popular because of the specific designs and we are continuing with this and it's unique and fresh. This is a concept of, uh, of a brand orientated to the kitchen quarter top mainly that is unique uh, compared with the other materials or competitors. So this is the new Silestone. And uh, before to move to the new series, I would like to explain you a little bit how is uh, the, the, the developing, not the developing process, how we are doing the decision of the colors uh, and the designs that we must to launch. Uh, we have a, um, a trend department inside of Cosentino who is analyzing trends, who is analyzing the internal needs and who is uh, deciding uh, at least what we are, uh, what we need for, for the products. But then we have a, a think tank uh, uh, with expert designers 
um, who was helping us to decide which colors, which trends, which designs, or which products are the best ones for the different application, the different channels, and uh, the, different, the, the different clients that we are uh, selling. They are very, they are from different countries. So uh, with this, we have the opportunity to have the global view of the world because we are in too many countries, but also they have a specific knowledge on design. Each one has a specific knowledge there. Um, okay, and after this, we can move to the new Silestone series. Um, I am explaining this here because they are very orientated to the sustainable point of view too. So the first series that we have launched in 2022, 2021, sorry, is Sunlit Days. Sunlit Days is a collection of five colors where we are trying to get in back the Silestone identity because we born 32 years old. It's 32 years before, it's through, but we born with a very strong identity. It, it, we arrived with something different with something with too much design to the kitchen and now to the bathroom too. But we have lost it during the, during the time because the people is starting to, to demand a lot of uh, white color and plain colors in general. But uh, we wanted to get it back. We wanted to, to make Silestone, uh, uh, to reborn Silestone. And it was the perfect time to make it this. In sunny days, we have Arthia red, Cincel gray, and Posidonia green, which is adding colors to the Silestone palette. And then Faro white and Cincel gray, who are uh, more neutral colors, but that do, we can combine with the other three perfectly. Sunlit collection is going with the hybrid plus technology for sure. And it's the first collection in Silestone that we, where we got um, the carbon neutral uh, um, certification. We can go in that a little bit later on. The second collection is Ethereal. Ethereal is a collection with four colors uh, with a marble look and white base. We already have too many white colors and with marble look into the palette, but uh, we think that Ethereal is a evolution on design compared with Eterna. Uh, with Ethereal, we are doing something special, something that you cannot find into the nature. We have made a very geometric designs, quite similar between them, regarding design, but not regarding the color. We have made four different color combinations with the purpose that every client who likes the um, who likes the design, the, the special and the specific design has the option, the perfect option for, for the, for the needed. Um, ethereal collection for sure is going with the hybrid plus technology too. But what about the Silestone and sustainability? I have, I have given you some points there, but now we can go in depth a little bit more. Um, before to understand what we are doing with the product, we need to understand what we are doing as a company because it, uh, the commitment is as a full company, it's not only as a brand. And as you know, we have at least five different brands and product into Cosentino. In our commitment from 2015, uh, we are aligned with the sustainable development goals in general. So. Uh, but also we are working on the three pillars uh, uh, of the sustainability, about the social governance and also environmental. About the social, um, we are still working on the plan for the future and we are defining the goals for the future too. So we are still on the way. <laughs> about the, the, the governance, Mm, this is a, this is a hundred percent family business. So this is giving us too many, uh, the, the possibility to, to improve a lot on that. 
And what about the environmental? Uh, that probably is the most important thing uh, today, uh, or at least what the client is most, more concerned about, is we have calculated the carbon footprint for the company, okay? To the, right now we are, we are speaking about the company, the full company, but something that I want to reinforce is that we are um, calculating the carbon footprint to the growth to the from the great uh, cradle to the growth and this is quite important because we are not making the focus just in our production process we are doing the focus on the full uh, uh, value chain on the different we are we have a strategic plan to reduce and neutralize the emissions on the three different scope, not only internally in our production, also with our suppliers. And we are reducing a 5% the carbon neutral, the carbon footprint every year. What is uh, the, 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 the different projects that we are working on, on the different steps of the develop? About the purchasing, uh, during the last two years, we have been working with a new ISO that is for a responsible purchasing process. So we are pushing and we are helping to our suppliers to reduce as much as possible and to improve the sustainability at their companies. Because this is, uh, this is the biggest scope that we have today in our uh, carbon footprint. About the design, uh, in Silestone, for example, as I have told you before, we have developed two, uh, one uh, technology that is the hybrid technology. Um, about the production, we have a zero water discharge. So uh, it means that we are recycling and reusing the, all the water that we uh, get back during the process. But also we are making a huge valorization of all waste. About the distribution, we have our own uh, uh, distribution uh, over the world. So we can decide the routes, the logistic routes to make the perfect optimization of that. About the consumption, something new for, for us is the APD. We got it like one and a half year ago that as you know, is a very transparent document about uh, our company and our products. And that added uh, lead points to the project. And also, as I have told you with Sunly Days, we have got as the first time in Silestone, a Syria with carbon neutral certificate, with a carbon neutral certification. And what about recycling? Um, we are, uh, as I have told you, we are valorizing the 40% of the waste, but it is not enough. There is another 60% that we are uh, trying to make a valorization, but outside of Cosentino. Uh, for that waste that we cannot uh, valorize inside, we are working outside on three different projects mainly that are for roads, for synthetic soils, and also for construction. This is about the circular economy. And what about the product? About the product in Silestone, we have the hybrid technology with two different category uh, that is orientated to the health and safety. And what means hybrid? Hybrid means that we have as maximum a 50% of crystalline silica. And inside of hybrid, we have two categories, Q10, that means maximum a 10% of crystalline silica, so we can compare it with a marble, a some granites, or a porcelanic or ceramic materials. And then it's Q50, who has from 10 to 50% of crystalline silica uh, into the formula. As I have told you, 100% of renewable energy. We are today, uh, we are right now building a solar plant who is going to be the auto consumption biggest plan in, in, in Spain. Uh, we are recycling 98% uh, of the water and always for sure with the 25 years of warranty of Silestone. And which is hybrid plus? 
in addition to the low quantity to the low silica content quantity we are adding at least a 20 percent of recycled content we have some colors with a 20 percent some of them with 30 with 40 with 50 and one of them with more than 60 percent of recycled content and with silent days it is hybrid plus but also we have the neutral uh, um, the, the carbon neutral certification for this collection that important to reinforce that we have calculated from the cradle to the grave. That's all from the Salestone part. Uh, I want to invite to my colleague Paula and I'm sure that you will join a lot uh, all the things that she is going to explain you about Decton. Thank you. Hi Alba. Hi everyone. It's nice to be here. Thank you for your presentation. Um, well, Alba and myself, we work together for Cosentino. My name is Paula Albendin, and I am the Decton Head of Product. And today I would like to share with you some useful information of Decton. Well, um, Decton is based in three main pillars. And I would like to, to start that this conversation with a reflection. What is important for you in a material? Well, we based our developments and our intention and our approach to the market in three different things. First of, first of all, we base it in the architectural features. It's a material that is an architectural solution. Then we have the design and trends impact that is also important for Tecton. And the third pillar is the one that we also uh, serve with Silestone, that is the sustainability part. Let's start from the beginning. Well, what is Decton? Decton is the new, new because it was born seven years ago, uh, the new ultra compact surface created through the innovative combination of more than 20 minerals. New techniques such as ultra compactation and synthesization turns Decton into a material with unique properties and limitless possibilities. Let's say that we have an improved version of natural stone. Maybe um, you know Cosentino for the kitchen world. Well, of course, Decton has all the properties for a kitchen countertop. We can talk about large format, scratch resistant, stay resistant, abrasion resistant, and UV resistant. It's a really architectural product. But for example, for kitchen, we can go further. And imagine a really extreme condition for a kitchen will be, for example, outdoor and also surrounded by heat or fire. Well, Decton is, uh, is thought to be used in this such application. So here you can see, for example, a barbecue or a chimney that is cladding with Decton. When we talk about uh, flooring, we always think in a material that has to be completely flat or as much, fa as much flat, fa flat as we can, uh, scratch resistant, uh, low porosity. Well, Decton can be used for flooring for all of these um, attributes and also because the net finish that we have is a uh, really low slip resistance. So it's a grip material. On top of that, we have the possibility to, to add uh, a treatment like Grip Plus that gives us the opportunity to use Decton, for example, in a spa or in a sauna. Here, what you can see is a material that can clad in an interior and vertical uh, wall, can also be part of the flooring and, of course, can be also part of the, an interior swimming pool. Everything done with the same material. 
what is amazing is that we have the same material with different thicknesses where we can play with them. So four millimeters can be used for this cladding, eight millimeters can be used for flooring, 12 can be used for kitchen tops. So at the end, what we are doing is to save material and be more economics, adapting this flexible material for its application. And that tone can be used uh, not only for interior, also for exterior. Has really good properties in terms of UV resistant. Uh, we have done so many projects already in interior and exterior outdoor. And the good thing is that can be a easy combination that goes from the interior to the exterior just with the same design. So the, um, the space can flow easily from the interior to the exterior. Maybe you have thought, okay, I can, I can use this material for facade because it's a really flat material. Uh, it's also a UV resistant material. We can combine different thicknesses. And of course, we have done so many facades so far. Um, this one is one of my favorites because here you can see also another properties that have tecton that is the flexural strength. What does it mean? Well, this material is really strong and you can use it here. The picture is perfect. You can use it in different positions, even in horizontal position, vertical position, uh, like a ceiling or making uh, diagonals with them. In this case, we have used a system that is hiding behind the, the slab, so you cannot see how this product is, um, is holded. And then one of the most beautiful uses for Decton can be also outdoor furniture or indoor furniture is this furniture. Furniture is quite um, linked with design, quite linked with our uh, intention to have in the space something beautiful is changing a lot during these years. Even with the, the coronavirus, we have seen a really, a really beautiful movement in furniture that makes uh, express our clients their their thoughts, their feeling. And um, furniture is another uh, application that we are seeing with Tecton, uh, a big success. We can use big slabs and it's scratch resistant and the design makes the difference in this case. When we talk about uh, technical properties, we have to keep in mind how we are going to demonstrate them, how we are going to uh, say to the world how good we are. Well, in fact, we have many certifications to, to back up this. We have uh, fire certification, we have everything uh, transparent in our EDP, uh, how, how we make that done, in what condition. We have other certification like Green Word, and we have everything published in our technical data set. Well, I'm going to jump to another pillar. It's the second one, and I would like to share with you some thoughts about the trend, about the trends. I'm going to explain you the latest collection that we have done with uh, Decton, that is Craftisan. We are launching this collection here in Spain, where Cosentino is located, but we hope it to, to, have, her, to have it worldwide soon. Um, we want to, to be a technical material, as I explained to you, but also embrace all the trends, embrace all the new things that are going on. So I'm going to explain to you Craftisan, um, that is a stucco micro cement collection, aesthetic, powered by this Tecton unique advantage. Well, stucco is a back on trend but it has many difficulties at the moment of the installation. So what we made, we provide a solution which is everlasting because of the properties of Tecton and valid both for interior and exterior. 
it's a specific thought for cladding and flooring, and of course, it's mo much more easier to install that a stucco that has to be made uh, by hand. It's beautiful to remember in this collection we have done. I remember two years ago when we were developing uh, with a handman may, making these patterns for, for us, working with this um, homage technique that is based on Venetian stucco. And as we uh, collect all this graphic information to create these colors, we have created five colors that are these five different tones for different application or tastes. Um, the durability of the ultra compact material makes this new craft design collection really uh, well known. And also we have received a uh, 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 recognition in KVs that is the, the largest uh, exhibition in North America for kitchen and bathroom, like the best product of the soul. Another thing is how fast the, move, the, the world is moving. And in fact, uh, what I would like to share with you in, the, in this slide is in, the, in seven years, we have launched more than 10 colors per year, which is amazing. What makes um, Decton be always in the run for all the things that are trendy in the, in the world that we can um, catch and see everywhere. And we want to be on be, um, front of these things and, and try to collect all the knowledge and be with our products, with our colors, always uh, a trendy. As Alva was explaining before, we use for such purpose a uh, design board. It's, uh, it's composed for five people. And in the case of um, the new collection, we are uh, working with Daniel Germani as a special advisor for us. They give us all the information. They align us with the trend, they uh, orientate our efforts to try to keep in trend and also they give us really uh, valued inputs for new collection and how we have to manage our portfolio. We work with this think tank board, but we also have so many input from the market. We have specific teams that are uh, related with market, with sales team, and so on. And we collect all this information to propose to the market new collections. Well, as uh, Alba was explaining before, Cosentino has a really commitment with the sustainability part in terms of environmental governance and social. But I will go deep in Decton commitment. Decton is made uh, here in Spain in a factory that is composed for two different lines uh, that are able to produce more than 2,000 slabs per day. So imagine how big is this factory. And we use a press that uh, has more than 25 tons that turns this panel into a large format, highly resistant, ultra compact surface. But all this uh, factory is fit up with 100% uh, uh, electrical uh, electric energy, renewable. So what means that all the electric uh, energy that we use in this factory comes from renewable uh, sources. We are quite commitment in that because we already know that this huge monster has to be sustainable in a, from the beginning. The other part here is that I don't know if you know Spain, but we are in the south of Spain. And here is the water is a highly um, beautiful resource. We don't have 
uh, as much as other areas or zones. So we try to create a closed cycle so all the water is recycled in a 98 percentage for tecton. We are always trying to keep the water in, in movement and try not to, to use more resources than the one that we need. In fact, we have also in this uh, thought of uh, having a circle, we have uh, some colors that are made with recovered mineral from our industrial process. We have some products at trillion and radium that have more than the 80% of the recycled material for, for the production process inside, but all the formulas contain uh, a little bit of this waste material, what means that we don't have any scrap for the production process. And then, as uh, you have seen before, we are working a lot in the in the food in the carbon footprint, and Decton is a neutral carbon footprint product. All the colors, all the collection we have compensate our carbon footprint cradle to grave so what means that we are considering transport and everything for to to calculate this carbon footprint and we are doing decton more sustainable in our goal is not only to compensate it's also to have less carbon uh, carbon footprint at the end but it's a way to to start um, for sure, uh, some of these things can give you lead points to your product because it's a material that it's thought to be sustainable, but also is thought to be to last uh, a lot. But this is a quite important thing when you are thinking about the sustain sustainable uh, issues that um, a building can face. Because at the end, what you want is a material that has low maintains that you last forever just it, it, if you want to change this is because not the material has a degradation it's because you need to change the design or you want to give decton another purpose this is something that we are working to 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 reinvent the decton when the first life is finished and for that reason we give decton uh, 25 years warranty because we believe that this product is a really good product for all of these applications that uh, the color is not going to fade then um, it's going to be sustainable has scratch uv resistant it's a really beautiful product for architectural purpose so well this is all from my side I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot in this presentation. For more information, do visit our online exhibition. Stand by clicking at the bottom below. And we are here with Silestone and Decton to, to come your dreams true. Bye.